This concept reef aquarium has a unique open face design and it's fully automated. We're here with Jay who has an awesome looking concept tank, uh, high tech tank concepts. Take us through what you have today at the show and what's the idea behind this? Yeah, so what I have here is a tank that I took a freshwater tank and completely converted it to salt water. And then I put in a dual display setup with mangroves growing in the bottom. Um, so what you have is a dual ecosystem kind of happening. You know, so you've got your biological filtration in the bottom that basically supports the tank life up top. That seems to be a really good system from what I've seen. I had a lot of this custom uh, mangrove holders made by an acrylics guy that actually made it for hydroponic baskets to drop in there. You know, so that way you can have your, your mangroves dropped in and supported, you know, using like rock wool and things like that. So keeps them, keeps them in place, keeps them in place, keeps them from plopping around, you know, so that's kind of what's unique about this tank. And then of course, what this gives you is a lot more display area to actually look at the tank and see, you know, more than just the top tank, you actually get to see the mechanical filtration happening in the bottom, you know? So that's my concept. It's completely automated, autonomous tank. It has an automatic top off, of course, it's gravity fed, it auto feeds. So another nice thing about this tank is I can walk away for a week or two at a time and I don't have to worry about it. And then everything is controlled by the Hydros, which I'm really a big fan of the Hydros controllers. And it sends me notifications on my phone if any of my stuff goes out of spec or if anything's going low on water. It even lets me know if my auto top off's getting low. So, it's neat because it's powered off of the main pump. So if I want to change some water, all I have to do is open this valve. And so instead of sticking a siphon hose in there and like uh -huh. siphoning it out or anything like that, the pump does the work for me. Oh, so nice. it'll pump water out of the tank for me and all I gotta do is add it in the top. So it's kind of a make it simple type system. It's got a gravity fed RO, uh, basically RO feed. So no pumps, nothing like that because it's up here on a shelf. It feeds in down through here and it comes down into my drip line right here that ties right into my probe holder. So it's actually a really nice auto top off setup because there's no, it's simple. It's all gravity fed. There's no pumps to rely on or anything like that. So I like that setup. Mm -hmm. I use a lot of the biomedia in my sump. Um, this was all custom made size to this shelf. Everything like that was custom made to fit that particular shelf. Custom lid that I had made to go around my auto feeder from my acrylics guy, um, did all that. And then of course I've got the XR15 Blue with the Reef, Reef Bright add-on kit, which I actually really like the look of that because it looks yeah. very techy. And then I went with all clear PVC piping out of Orlando. And that's actually another cool feature. So you can actually watch a lot of the water flow through the system, which is neat. You know, you can check for obstructions or anything like that, but it shows you got a good flow, you know? So that's kind of unique to this tank. UV sterilizer that powers on at night made by Coral Life Turbo Twist that I modified to actually be hard mounted like that. And then I've got fans on the bottom that draw air in. I got a fan on the side that pushes air out. So that way the mangroves have fresh flow all the time. Yeah, that's really smart. And then my control panel is completely custom made by myself with the Hydros Control 4. I've got a fan controller for my air plate and then I've got a DC uh, control pump for my hydro pump and then a reef wave wave maker and then I did the image on the back and then of course a little grommet made by Neat Aquatics that actually for your cord grommets stuff like that very cool so and then the uh, yeah auto the feeders made by a vast marine it's a really good auto feeder I yes. suggest it for everybody yeah that's my uh, favorite auto feeder those are really market, great yes. it solved a lot of the problems with the food just sitting on top of the water so yeah. getting that you know food to drop down in and go into your tank makes a huge difference because if not it's just gonna sit on top float and then hit the, basically your overflow and go right into your sump. Yep. So it's wasted, you know, so. I like the open face design here, cause. Yeah, most tanks you see have just a stand, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, and it's really, you know, hiding a lot that's happening, you know, with the tank, you know, cause a lot of stuff's not very sightly anyways. It's skimmers and stuff like that, you know, nothing yeah. really to showcase, but if you have a dual ecosystem like this, you actually get two tanks in one, yeah, you know, absolutely. you really do get, kind of your freshwater almost look in the bottom with daylight and then your nighttime scheme up top. You know? Very so cool. I think, it's a, I think it's a good setup, you know? Like I said, it took me over a year to build and design. Yeah. So, 
And it's got fan systems and it's got a UV sterilizer on the back. It really has all the technology available on the market today for fish tanks, you know. Minus the only thing I have don't have is a protein skimmer, which I don't really want, you know. Yeah. So very cool. Well, I love the setup, I love the open face design of it, and this is your passion, right? Building custom. Yeah, this is definitely my passion. I, I hope to build more tanks like this. This yeah. was just my first start on building a tank like this, and I'm next dream is to build something bigger you know even go larger with the concept you know but for a small tank I'm happy well, awesome yeah it looks great thank you so much cool. for talking thank you very much appreciate it if you enjoyed this video then I know you'll love the next video here click or tap your screen to watch that and I will see you in the next episode